How are y'all and um, welcome back to another episode of KCG Plays. My name is Kevin and today we are playing Luck Be a Landlord as always. I The new update is out in a few hours. It's actually probably already out by the time this video goes live. So this will be the last run on the old content patch. I'm very excited to see what the changes are. You guys probably already know but I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, this is well actually from before the update. So one last run on the old content patch before hopefully there's some balance changes, maybe some new symbols. Very excited about what could go on. Maybe some new floors, that would be great. Floor nine is pretty hard in fairness. Like I'd say my run, per uh, my win percentage on floor nine is pretty, I, I thought it was about one in four. I'm starting to think after the last few runs that that was maybe optimistic. So maybe like, one in one in six or seven it's probably more like it so if you make it much harder you're going to be going a long time without any wins but it'd be interesting to see what happens uh we made the first round payment there with six left over 50 due in five spins what i pick up a toddler and a monkey just get those eaters in there picked up a lockbox it's decent and an anchor because it's slightly better than one let's take a Let's take a rabbit fluff early. Let's take a lock pick early is also pretty good. I used to always pick lock pick. I thought it was one of the best common. I'm starting to think maybe not as good as I thought it was, but still pretty good. Egg carton is also pretty good if you get it early on. It can give you up to six per turn. I don't particularly want a second monkey, but I guess it's better than the other two choices. Okay, I definitely don't want a third monkey, but I will take a hustling capsule. And we made the 50 rent pin with 19 left over, so we're not super strong as of yet. I'll take a peach just because it's worth two, and Oswald the monkey is great. Now I'm thinking maybe I should have taken that third monkey. Let's take a cold. No, let's take a milk. All right, let's take a five set of dice. Fortunately, with lockpick, magic key is probably never going to get used. Coconut is great with monkey. Could have gone Joker as well and tried for some kind of suits deck. Maybe I should have, but with no, with nothing else to kind of support suits, I'm not super like enthused about playing them. Maybe they'll get a buff in the new update. Maybe they already have. Let's pay 100. So we made the 100 rent pin with 93 left over. 150 now due in six spins as always. Let's take a rabbit fluff and let's take lucky cat. That's great. So we should be starting to get some lucky items fairly soon or rare items. I will take a bronze arrow, I guess. It's not my favorite, but it's all right. Let's take a ninja, I guess. And I do have a dwarf. I do. Honey is rare, however. It gives tree, but I think wine is probably better. And drank straight away. As opposed to my last run where I had a load of wine and no dwarfs. Okay, let's skip this. I like to save my rerolls for after a rent pin when you kind of guaranteed better items. Lockbox is always good when we have lockpick. It's like a auto take. As far as I'm concerned. We made the 150 rent pin with 123 left over, which is great. Mostly due to that, those monkeys, I think. And 225 now due in seven turns. Safe is kind of an auto pick. Don't particularly want Zarif's contract. I will take happy hour though. We've been offered a lot of, a lot of suits on this run, I have to admit. Do I want to kind of go suit? I think it's a bit late. Well, I think, could have had a decent suit build. Joker offered a lot of black suits. Let's take a coconut half for the monkey. Eldritch creature, very rare. Okay, I'm just, just gonna take it. It's just offered to me. I don't even have to like hatch it from the frozen fossil. This is brilliant. Um, is it worth taking a Hexamidas though? Do I have a removal? I do. Let's take a Hexamidas and immediately destroy it. 
Eldritch Creature giving five. I mean, the fact that it rolls in and gives four straight away is just bananas. I'll take a five-sided dice there, worth three on average. It's pretty decent. Hex of Emptiness. Sure, hopefully it doesn't survive too long. And doesn't make me skip too many symbols. Uh, we made the 225 rent pin, 157 left over. That's fantastic. So we did scale faster than rent. 300 now due in seven spins. Let's take a Hexatidium for the Eldritch Creature. Let's take Looting Glove is great. Not entirely sure what the other two options there are. Gonna, I must have seen them and then done that thing where I've seen them and just put them out of my mind as not right for this run. And I've now forgotten what they are. Looting Glove though should be good. Let's uh, skip this. We should have no problem making rent. And there the elder creature takes out both of our hexes. That's brilliant. I'll take a hex of Midas and uh, I'll remove it straight away. Just don't want to risk it filling up the deck with kinds. Okay, I don't want another ninja. I already have one. Uh, I take another bronze arrow though, it's pretty decent. I think two is probably the limit though. 16 from the elder creature, that's fantastic. I can definitely be a bit more choosy about what I take from now on. As we're quite far ahead. Another lucky capsule is great. Hustling capsule would also have been decent. Let's see what we get from this roll. We made the 300 red pyramid with 176 left over. So we're still scaling faster than rent, which is brilliant. 375 due in eight spins, which is eaten by the elder creature, isn't it? It is. Is that better than Mrs. Fruit though? I don't think so. I think Mrs. Fruit is better. And let's take... We're never gonna have three of the same. Let's just take Grey Pepper. Didn't take it in my last run. Did that turn out? I think with the amount of thieves that we have, we're probably better off not taking it, but... Tough to know. Let's reroll here. Should've taken the coconut. Don't particularly want any of these lockbox is is okay. 53 on the spin already. Ooh. Watermelon worth four. Is that just an auto pick? Or I could reroll and hope for something better. I got a Robin Hood. I think Robin Hood is pretty decent. Destroys targets and apples. Okay, let's take Robin Hood. I do have two bronze arrows. Okay, 38. I do have a dwarf, so let's take a beer for the dwarf. Okay, finally getting rid of that peach. That's great. I still have quite a lot of rubbish in my deck. I Robin Hood does take out a target, doesn't it? It does, so let's take target. I also have these two arrows that could take out targets, so... Oh. Oh, she probably took out the cherry. I was like, what did Mrs. Fruit eat? Will we take another cat? They're not great, but they do stack luck, so let's take it. Okay, Robin Hood making the arrows worth something. It's pretty decent. Another coconut is great. Can be eaten by the monkey, can be eaten by Mrs. Fruit. I'm happy enough with either. And massive, massive hit there on the on the dwarf. So we made the 375 rent pin with 268 left over. We're starting to run away with it a little bit. 450 now due in eight spins. Let's see what we get. Do we want a honey? Not particularly. Do we want a chemical seven? I mean, hexa hoarding is probably better. Do we have any toddlers? We do have toddlers. So Jack and Lantern at least makes the toddler worth two. Uh, so what happened there to make the, this is my favorite interaction actually. I just noticed it recently, but the bronze arrow made the beer, I believe it was worth double. So it was worth four. The dwarf then drank the beer, which gave it 40, and was then doubled by the bronze arrow. If you get an arrow in a line with a drink and a dwarf, it works with anything that gives a set percentage. So dwarf and monkey, it works with. And it's just a great interaction, I love it. Love it when that happens. So the monkey's at all the coconuts without giving any to Mrs. Fruit. I think she'll have a bit of a struggle growing. Let's take an item capsule over the hex destruction. Oh, this is great, lunchbox. There's a lot of things in there that we definitely want. Uh, we want a billionaire. 
and wine is probably better. Second wine is good, and a chemical seven is good. I don't even have a mouse, I don't think. Well, billionaire making the wine worth something. 33 on that spin. I don't want any of these. We yeah, have a force to take something on this spin, so hopefully we have a decent option. We don't. That's a bit sad. Let's take a beer and let's just take out the hexa hoarding to stop that happening again. Okay, 34. Hexa Thievery is okay. There goes one of our wines. It's pretty decent. Giving us 30, 60. Yeah, we shouldn't have any problem. Do I want a Hexa Destruction? I don't particularly want to risk it with the Eldritch Creature. I could just take out the Eldritch Creature and I'd be slightly miffed. Do I want anything else here? No, I don't. Would I take a General Zara from this run, actually? I think I probably would. Hexa Tedium, though, I'm happy to take. Oh, that's brilliant. So the billionaire doubled the wine for six, which was then eaten by the dwarf for 60. That's a great interaction. I didn't even think of that interaction. But we made the the rent payment, which I've forgotten how much it was. I think it was 500 maybe. Um, with 243 left over, which is brilliant. 575 now due in nine spins. Here's the sun. We've been offered quite a lot of luck on this run. We have a lot of symbols though is the only thing. How many of these? So one... Two, three, four. Okay, we don't want to kind of add in rabbit fluff. Let's take a guillotine. Let's just get rid of that billionaire straight away. We do have looting glove as well, so he gives us 50, I believe. Let's take a look. 53. Okay, excellent. We Do we have a way of getting rid of thieves? We don't at the moment. Could pick up a banana though. Does looting glove affect thieves? He does. Or we could just take a wine for the guaranteed 30. I think it's better. There goes our Hexatidium. Eaten by the Eldritch Creature. That's great. Let's take a reroll capsule. There was our way of getting rid of Thieves. There goes our target, which is pretty decent. Let's take another coconut. Okay, I don't particularly want a hooligan, don't want a bar of soap. Let's take a Videstone. There goes our coconuts. Eaten all by one monkey for a mass of 52. That's not too bad. We Let's take another target. Okay, we don't want any of these. Let's skip these. There goes our target. And it was hit by a bronze arrow. Let's take another coconut half. See if Mrs. Fruit, Mrs. Fruit and the monkey both get it, so that's pretty much the best we can hope for. 68 on that spin. Let's take a ooh, another let's take another coconut over the lucky capsule. Oh, that's great hit. Hit by the bronze arrow before being eaten by the monkey for a big 62. And we made the 575 rent payment with 336 left over, which is brilliant. 650 now due in nine spins which is eaten by the elder creature isn't it it is so let's take it we could take ritual candle for the few turns where we have a hex before they get eaten 106 let's take a lockbox and let's remove something terrible like our flower just kind of clean the deck up a little bit make it slightly better let's take a hexatidium Are we doing 70 on that spin? Still don't want a Hex of Destruction. Okay, uh, also don't want a Hex of Midas. I'll take another beer for the Dwarf though. I'm happy enough with that. And uh, let's take a Tedium Capsule. It gives five. There's a few things I think that I could do. Hit by a Bronze Arrow and a Witch to give 16. That's pretty decent. Let's take a Hustling Capsule. Here we should have no problem making rent, so that's just a good pick. 49, let's take another Chemical 7. I think Chemical 7 rolls in as well and gives us 10 or 11. 12, okay. 
don't want them rain, I don't want a moon, I don't mind the white zone. This losing glove, oh 1.5, half a 7 is 3.5, which I, I feel like there's some favourable rounding going on there, but I'm not going to complain. Oh well, oh, I suppose it'd be half of 8, so 4, which is 12, yeah, so it actually, the maths does check out. We made the 650 rent payment with 236 left over, which isn't as good as I would have liked. Treasure chest is fantastic though, and anthropology degree should be fantastic as well. That, that cat one as well would have been okay. But this should give us like an extra tree per spin. Let's take a wine for the dwarf. Eating it straight away, there goes our witch finally. For a big 130 spin, that's great. Let's, uh, let's re-roll this one for a... We still have no way of getting rid of a thief, right? So let's take a Hex of Emptiness. Oh, that's great. Let's see how much this gives us. 78 from that golden chest. Let's take an item capsule. Could have taken the orange to try and feed Mrs. Fruit, but I'm... Uh, she's all right there as just like a, a, a six that rolls in every now and again and the hex of emptiness unfortunately stole our symbols on the one turn where it rolled in before it got eaten it managed to steal our symbols so fair play to it let's take a seed there's actually very few things the seed could grow into that can't be eaten strawberries won them so fair play to it i don't want a hex of minus. Let's reroll and let's take a wealthy capsule. I think with the run the way it is at the moment, we will probably win this. So I just don't want to do. I don't. I shouldn't do anything stupid to make us lose. Basically. Still have this hexatidium floating around somewhere. Uh, buffing capsule will probably be worth more than eight. Yeah, definitely if it gets hit by this arrow as well. Don't want to rain. Apple can be eaten by. Yeah, can be eaten by the Robin Hood. So let's take him. There goes our hexatidium. Finally, we've gotten our eldritch creature up to ten, which isn't fantastic. But we did make the seven hundred rent payment with three hundred and thirty nine left over. Seven seventy seven now due in ten spins. So we only need. What's that, 440? Like 44 per spin. We should have no problem getting this. A second Joker. I still think you might have been able to have a good suits run. Maybe not though. Tomb is useless to us, right? Card Shark. Card Shark and the Joker. Wow, we had to re-roll the Joker for the Card Shark. So there's finally black suits. I'll take uh, Egg Carton though. Might come in handy. Probably won't. 42. If we just uh, keep on like that, we should have no problem making rent. Still have this anchor, actually. Let's take a hex of thievery. Let's remove something bad like this pearl. We still have a lot of, usually I've removed a lot more items by now, but because of the elder creature, I used some of my removals on hexes. So. We've more items, and we've more of the bad items like kind and things than I usually have by the end of the run. Let's skip all these. It doesn't make a difference though, we'll definitely win this one. And uh, let's, uh, will we pick up a cherry for Mrs. Fruit? No, I don't think so. Why risk it? X is a TV are great actually because when they take away six, they actually only take away three because they still give trees, so these are way better than I thought they were. Hex of Draining, sure, let's take it. Three hexes on the board. Let's take a removal capsule. Oh, oh no, our cat was worth zero. Let's take, ooh, do we have two chemical sevens? We do, let's take a chemical seven and let's remove this other kind. 
So this should give us 77, or still only gives us 77. That isn't doubled by, or 1.5 by the chemical seven. But we made our last rent payment, 777, and this time our landlord was hexed by witches. And a, an appropriate fate, I think, based on this run. So this run just, we got elder creature and we just went from there. Although the monkeys did give us quite a lot of money. I think they were also integral to this run. So fair play to them. And looting glove was great. Lock pick definitely, I think, did pay off. Probably gave us like two or three hundred worth with lock pick and looting glove. A lot of hexes, yeah, just early, stacked a bit of luck early on. We got a very lucky with an elder creature and just kind of defi went, uh, defined our run around that. Got that up to giving 16. Like the fact it starts off giving four is just brilliant. It's definitely the best of the eaters. And the fact it goes up when it's destroyed or removed is also pretty broken i would not be surprised if this maybe gets changed in the update or maybe already has but i hope you guys enjoyed that video we'll be back tomorrow with the new update i'll be taking a look at the content update and kind of giving my thoughts on it and then probably playing a run or two shouldn't take me too long to go through the content update It'll just be a brief overview i won't be doing like an in-depth analysis or anything like that so if you enjoyed this video guys give us a like and subscribe it definitely helps us out i've been told and be great to break the 100 subscriber mark this month that that's one of my goals so it'd be great if you help me out with that and we'll see you in the next one guys until then take care of yourselves and cheers for now